good day everybody welcome back to the dirty pat walsh channel here on youtube with me your host dirty pat walsh uh i notice i got my subscribers just keep growing slowly s s slow and steady wins the race eh um so thank you for subscribing if you've recently subscribed um I do lots of, lots of different, th I, I've done so many videos where I describe what I do on this channel, <laughs> uh, but yeah, I do a bunch of stuff, I do music that I make, uh, talk about harmonicas, talk about vintage harmonicas, do uh, dip reviews, <laughs> smokeless tobacco reviews, um, occasionally, anyway. Um, I got a funny one coming up anyway, but, uh, yeah, I, and you know, I used to do a lot more vlogging than I've done as of late, but, uh, it's, it's not really, there's not really been much to vlog about, uh, these days. Uh, I don't know. I went to the States. I don't know if I had a, I did a video about that, but I went to the States and, uh, with uh with Michelle from my band the Cornbread Cornbread Choir and uh and my and my friend Tyler uh who I who I used to play in a band with called I Am Made of Fire <clears throat> and that band that band went to do this same gig three years ago <clears throat> and uh man traveling with Tyler man <laughs> I'm not gonna sit and make a video about trashing them but uh oh boy it's 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 uh it i'm just i'm gonna put it easy simply one way uh it took us 13 hours to get home uh for on a six hour drive like a six hour drive back home but it took us 13 hours um and there was there was like about twenty dollars worth of pot that that he had that he was like he was gonna try to sneak it over the border and we were just like you are not uh ever you know if if we get caught we're all going we're not going home tonight and we're and we're gonna never be able to be let in the states again, you know. So we were like, "Just no way, how are you doing that?" But but I think he thought he thought that we'd forget about it or something. But so we're ten minutes away from the border, and we're both like, "Tyler, you still got that? You still got that weed, man?" He's like, and he was just grumpy about it, and you know, we got we did get rid of it, but uh. You know, we're, we're pretty high when we cross the border, <laughs> but, uh, um, yeah, it was a cool trip, man. The Green Beacon's an awesome venue to play. Thanks for everybody who's watched the videos on it. That was, it was like, I don't know how long ago, it must've been a month ago now or three weeks or something. It's been a while. Um, but while I was there, uh, you know, met up with a bunch of friends and, Got to see a lot of people. Um, I got some really cool gifts. Um, Hil Hillary uh, Thompson gave me a whole pile of clothes. And stuff. Um, uh, and gave me and gave me a harmonica. That's this is why I'm making the video to to show you this harmonica. Um, it's, it's a, it's, it's a, it's, now this is interesting because this is the company that now makes, uh, Lee Oscar harmonicas, uh, Tombow. Um, now Tombow, Tombow has a good, pretty good reputation, I think, for making good harps. I don't like really like Lee Oscars. I've played them in my time, but, uh, I only own one right now and it's in, it's in this weird, uh, tuning that I just, I can't make sound good <laughs> so um the melody maker tuning but um we'll work on that we'll work on that later uh I think one of my more viewed videos is my video of me trying to play that thing and I get I it's I think I've, it's gotten downvoted so much it's 
Anyhow, uh, the, so this is a Tombow harmonica, um, and it's and this is and it, the bo and the other beautiful thing about this is I think it was I don't even think this thing had been played. It didn't it, like it when I looked at it, and I'll show you. I'll show you. To you. Okay, okay, here we go. Okay, this is the box. Look at that. It's like in great shape for for an old box made in occupied Japan, like. You know, I don't know when this was made. It's, it's inside. This is, and it's kind of done up to look like a marine band. This is kind of what the inside of a marine band box looks like, but it's got a different write-up. But it's in the same style. It has a black and white picture here and a little write-up here in red with the little Horner logo. Um, and this one has the Tombow logo because it's a Tombow harmonica. A uh, Tombow harmonica is the finest instrument in in construction the fine is the finest instrument in construction with the excellent workmanship and has the best metal used for the reeds and produces the loudest clearest and most powerful tone and it's uh signed by someone uh s dot mano and this is this picture is the view of works that's kind of weird the view of works. Um, so yeah, and I don't know, it, it was, I think it was 20 bucks, cost Delivery 20 bucks to get this harmonica. And this is it. And when I, you know, I don't think it's really, other than me, I don't think it's been played. Um, it's in the key of G. It's got, it looks beautiful. It's like, catch the engraving there. Um, and that's that's the back. It's the S Mano, that guy again. But it's also done, you know, this is kind of similar to a Honer Marine Man back. Um You know, here's a Marine Band back. Here's the you know what I mean? Um so <clears throat> I don't have a Marine Band box right handy to show you either but i could show you some more but anyhow this is a really interesting harmonica it has a recessed wood comb um so you know even if you played this a lot in the reeds like the wooden combs sometimes swell up with moisture um it's the fact that it's recessed it wouldn't make the reed swelling much of an issue um it's held together with screws uh Although the inside appears to be held together not with screws, but with pins. Because I do not see any screws in the inside. But anyway, that's the back. Um, does it say anything? Oh, I thought I saw something. Uh, but yeah, it's this kind of weird, like, 70s... Uh, like a uh, station wagon siding kind of feel to it, you know? Um, <clears throat> excuse me, folks. Has closed vents. Um, I'm more of a fan of the open vent harmonicas, but that's just me. Um, now, <clears throat> this isn't the most airtight instrument. I don't know. Let's just go through it. It's not very good for um, doing like second draw bends or third draw bends. It's not, it's, just, it's difficult, but. <laughs> it's 
it's good for doing that kind of stuff. Um, tongue blocking kind of first position. <laughs> It's kind of fun to honk around a bit that way. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, anyhow, I'm sure at the time, I don't know, like, if this, I don't know when Japan was occupied. Um, I guess it was during the World War II or something. I don't know. I'm not that, I don't know that much about uh, that kind of stuff. <laughs> um you know, but uh, I get, I'm gathering this is a rather old harmonica. It just looks old. It's, you know, it's like you don't see you don't see harmonica builds like this anymore with these little metal uh, support structures. Uh, you find these in a lot of silver tone harmonicas. These things, um, yeah. You just this is not. You don't find harmonicas that are really built like this anymore, and that's kind of the cool thing about it. Um, so yeah, is it the bat, is it, is it fun to play? Yeah, it's really fun to play, but is it something I'd use on stage? Probably not, but what a cool addition to my vintage harmonica collection. So thank you so much, Hillary. Uh, I really, I'm very grateful. I really appreciate it. Um, I love collecting old harmonicas. This is the back of the box. Number one two one zero. <laughs> so I got one the one one thousand two hundred and tenth one of these uh, in the world. So yeah, put that in your pipe and smoke it. And uh, <laughs> I guess uh, I don't know if you're still watching this video. Thanks for watching, and I hope you're all doing good and well. And uh, yeah. God bless you, be well, stay free, and uh, I will talk to you soon.